Hello and greetings and salutations everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon, and we're continuing our blind Let's Play series of Halcyon 6, Starbase Commander. Now I have to say a very special thank you to uh, Massive Damage for hooking me up with a copy of this game to do a blind Let's Play series on and a game review. As we left off there in the last video there, um, as you can see, um, what were we doing? Um, I think we just got our new ship here, and um, where were we? Where were we at? So where's all my sh fleets at? Okay, um, no, we didn't really want to click on them, but let's see here. We're down here. Were we taking care of a mission here? Uh, prepare for the cruel onslaught. And we do have our new thing, investigate the cruel colony. Fleming and West Lizard uh, Federation is under attack. Um, ah, by space pirates. And what we got here? We got a tier 5 ship, so we're going to have to send our big boys in here with their tier 5 ships to take care of them. So let's go ahead and send them over there. Send them fleets, we'll send Flip the Bacon. And let's see here. Commander, let's see if we complete the construction of the Omega drones. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and build another one of those guys. Even though they're quite expensive, um, they seem to be pretty useful. So, um, no, we don't need another one of them. So we'll acknowledge and leave that. I guess we can have our science officer working on something else while we are here so we can have them start making more dark matter i guess um i believe these level up our officers so it's always good to have them do that we'll confirm that task and here we go oh no uh, i didn't see what that was but it looks like we got a new uh, bad guy headed towards us um we'll take care of him in no time where is he at got the new mega bad guy coming for us uh we'll continue that replication um this will take us to them. No, no, I don't know. Well, they'll be here anytime, so we don't have to worry about it. And we'll continue that replication. And go. Continue recruiting. And let's see, Commander. The Karzen have a proposition for us. They wish to discuss on Onir. We should provide, provide, prioritize sending fleet there as soon as we can. We certainly will, you know. Let's get this combat going. You think you guys can take us on with your tier fives? Yeah? Let's see what your weaknesses are. Um, ship disable, hull breach, and sensors offline seem to be the weapons of choice on both of these guys. Yep. So, sensories offline. Let's go ahead and smack the smaller of the two. And then one of these guys has something that takes exploit sensories offline. And there we go. Is it going to ram into our ship? Big deal. And then we'll hit him with this move here. It does like a damage over time, which I do like. And we'll hit them with this again. And let's see here. We're just checking out we got a bunch of new things in here so i guess we'll hit them up again with this one for the finishing move i'm assuming yeah that's right space pirates no match for us all right so inflicts hull breach pretty good engines down vulnerable i think they have some resistance to vulnerable so we won't be hitting them with that but we will hit them with this hull breach because we can don't have anything that takes advantage of Hall Breach, I think. But, let's see here. We'll hit them with this, get some sensories offline. Resist it. Resisted our, our weapons offline. Okay. Let's see how it is. And let's hit them with the ship disabled. And it resisted that, too. And it inflicts vulnerable, but we know vulnerable doesn't work on them. And we'll do this one. Wow, look at all this, uh, them blocking everything here. Uh, yeah, we do have something that takes advantage of hull breach. Cool. So we weren't completely wasteful there. Yeah, let's just go for the f finishing move there. Boom. No way you're going to survive that. Yeah. Down with the space pirates. And might as well take, let's just, just leave the, the system alone. We took care of them. We'll have you guys return home. 
And then we'll equip those two things that we found. Where, where are they coming? Oh, don't see them. Is this the big baddie? Yeah. Wow. A tier boss. Oh, he's going straight for them. Crazy. And uh, who are the psychic people? It was the Corzins. So we'll have to go to see them real quick. Um, did our ship... Yeah, our ship got in there. So let's go in here and look at our ship construction. No, we don't need to look at the ship construction. We need to look at... Um, where is it? This one. Fleet management. And we're going to equip... On our guys here, we're going to equip. He already got one of those on there. One of those drones. We'll edit and add um, Omega Drone 3. I wonder how many things can we have equipped at once. Okay. That's pretty cool. And I'm just kind of checking out and see what we got here. Can we equip multiple of these? Nope. Can't. I just want to see, can we equip, like, multiples? Yeah. So, okay, we can equip multiple items to our guys here. Um, that's pretty good. Um, so, if I was to, wanted to equip this uh, thing, where was it? Um, I have something cool here. I gotta just find it. Oh, maybe it's still equipped over here on this person. No? No, I didn't think so. Eh, I thought I had it equipped. And uh, apparently not. Um, our enchanter. That's not our, our big ship. Our protector. Waiting orders. Our champion. And here it is. So we'll go ahead and equip another one of these guys. And. Yeah, this increases our damage by a lot. But we take those minuses. So I'm going to go ahead and actually equip him with that right here wow look at that chaos thing that he gets I'm way down for that that much more damage cool nice nicely done and uh, is this the thing that allows us to build uh, things no that's just a repair where did we put our new hull thing our task available these can only build Omega drones apparently at this time all right, so that looks good. And let's go ahead and send a fleet to here real quick and see what they're up to. Yeah, let's launch the, oh, yeah, it will repair here in a second anyway, repair all. Okay, and let's continue the creation. Commander, we have something vitally important with which we, with which to commune with you. Have you wondered why your crew even when they leave your station, are impervious to the cruel psychic domination attacks. I assume it was some kind of residual effect. We just became that lucky. Let's see. Well, that's certainly part of it. Uh, you see, while lovingly gazing into the recesses of your mind during our last conversations, I was able to pinpoint a tiny, tiny abnormality in your cortex that bore more than a passing resemblance to the kind of signals emanating from your mysterious station. So you're saying the station is changing our brains. Your point is, uh, you're saying I should have my scientists look into it. Uh, what we're saying most, saying most wise and wondrous human friend is not only that the station has lain the, lain the mark on your people, but that we Corzon are our best position to study this phenomenon through rigorous close quarter intention it Intention field meditation, followed by a short, safe, easy, reversible psychic procedure in an appropriate cranial area, just a small poking around, really. After perfecting the process with our own endlessly complex, uh, whatever that word is, human brain really ought to be a cinch. Um, volunteer an officer to perform the brain experiments. We'll accept. Uh, excellent. We shall prepare the meditation of cranial exaction chamber. All right. Also, be sure to let your environment know they will be astonished. Uh, it's at almost zero amount of pain will, will, will the procedure... Let's see, this will procedure will impact. Okay, so we're going to have to offer a person up there. So, where is this guy going? Okay, well, is, how close is that other big ship getting there? Not quite yet. Um, we're going to send, send new fleets. 
Um. And okay, we'll just move this ship and then we'll flow in. She has to have her own ship at this point in time. I don't think she's necessarily even doing anything. There we go. And we'll launch that fleet and continue replication. Let's see the Corzin. Excited. Excitedly contact you. Excitedly contact you, expressing their thanks at being able to open up a genuine precursor station at all the human brain. While the proof is inconsistent, it seems as though the station has imposed a function, a form of Anculation against the cruel possession waves, though that would suggest a kind of relationship between the cruel and the station that is wholly unsupported evidence by unsupported by evidence. The Corzin, however, are unbothered by this, nor they bothered at the somewhat alarming, ultimately harmless personality changes exhibited by the officers after this procedure. The officers gain the non cut of, cut of act. Okay, so I guess we don't need this in this person. But we are going to meet this person. We're going to meet uh, them there. And we'll take care of them when they come here. Let's finish them off quickly and fastly at that. So, yeah, I know, guys. I don't remember everything here. Hull breach they don't do so well against. So. They don't do well against what? Sensories offline or vulnerable. We'll just hit him with that. <laughs> just finishes him off quickly. And hit them with this. And then we'll hit them with this one. And I think this guy has, uh, he has vulnerable weaknesses. But he doesn't do well against engine down or hull breach, which we'll have to remember. Mm, what about weapon disruptions? Yeah, he has pretty good resistance to weapon disruptions. So let's just go ahead and... Oh, I don't have that little healing thing there. I really should keep that there. And there's our engines down. Wow. I thought for certain I would have had that. And then have them return home. And then we'll go into our ship thing here. And, uh, what we got here? Do I not have the swirly whirly healing? Um, which one of these will we take down? Hmm. I really get, have the healing than the protective shield. And we got a new thing here. What do we got going on? Okay, I'm not sure. It says we have new. Ancient, okay. And uh, let's see if I can equip that on the other guy here. Yeah, there we go. Get some more damage going. Cool. Alright, so... We'll end up saying flip the bacon out. Repair all. Continue creation. Most honorable human. Does our wish to know that we have joined the war against your hateful the dreadful cruel 
In ultimate wisdom, wisdom a czar of the decorate, whatever, <laughs> decide to extend our invitation to your, you, our brave human friends, to join the glorious onslaught. Are you asking for help? Are you sure that the mighty arts can't handle it without the help of us lowly humans? No. The czar and Terran relations have been stained for some time. Uh, I wouldn't say that, or rather, we most clearly, cleverly baited the cruel vessel into our orbit, uh, lulling them into a false sense of security, allowing it to bombard and destroy our defense. <laughs> Alright, soon, however, we will strike with a masterful ambush. Oh, yes, we will 100%. However, knowing the valor of the Terran fleet, we thought to extend to you the courtesy of joining in, you know, for glory. Alright, we'll send a fleet to help. You just admit that you are in the verge of extinction. Maybe we will accommodate. Fantastic. We are firstly honored and sheer virtuality. Combined with the human ability to sort sort of help out around the margins. We will smash the cruel into oblivion. We anticipate your rival human. In fact, we will not begin the attack until you have arrived. For we, without exception, er, exception curious above all else. Alright, so we're going to send... Uh, uh, flip the bacon there. We'll redirect the fleet. Let's go ahead and save just in case, you know, we don't quite make it out of this, okay? There we go. Hit that save button, save complete, and let's finish this guy off. I feel like this is going to be a pretty long battle, though, so we'll see. Continue replication. Alright, so the devastation of the entire surrounding star. The devastation of the entire... Surrounding star system is still plausible and intimidating. Aura spills out from the titanic cruel desolator. It instantly recognizes your intent and thrusts towards you. Corbin Lau launches orchestrates pre-planned uh, pre maneuver. There we go. Your fleet gains the untouchable f effect. Cool. I wonder what untouchable is. Where is untouchable? Wow, we got quite a bit of a uh, up there. So let's see, engines down, crew panic, and vulnerable are all good. And hull breach is especially well to use. And wait, didn't they say? Oh, they have Sentry offline. Okay, so let's go ahead and Elm of all this. And... So, no Sentry offline, but we'll hit him with the Crew Panic. And... And let's see, which one of these exploits crew panic? It was this one? Same deal with you two? Yeah, pretty much. Get the missiles down, or engines down, and then we'll take advantage of that. And then we'll just go ahead and blast you that, because we can. And then, where are your weaknesses? Pretty much the same thing, except weapon destruction does work against you. And might as well get our nanobots up and healing now. Hit you with the engines down. Take advantage of engines down. This guy does have a ton of life. That's for certain. Alright. And uh, he has the sentry offline. So not really good. And we could charge up. And I think. Let's see here.
Hit him with that. And we have the move that takes advantage of crew panic. I think this guy has two crew panic exploits. And we'll just go ahead and uh, heal up here. Hit them with the engines down. Ah, look at that. He has a regal cruel master inside there. Yeah, they definitely have resistance to that. Flicks hull breach. And we'll just blast you with that. Should we go ahead and doom can him? No, not quite yet. And, uh... Hmm... Let's see... I guess we can hit you with the polarity move. Get that, uh, weakness going. There we go, we got the engines down going this time around. And uh, definitely going well past the time I would want to go on this. There we go. We'll supercharge. And then we'll blast him with a cannon next time around. And let's just go ahead and hit him with this. And look at this. Overkill. Boom. Because we charged up that cannon. Whoa. Not quite. Uh, let's hit you with this, I guess. There we go. Awesome, guys. So we're going to wrap this up after it's done. We end up beating that big guy there. No problem. While the glory spectacle, a spectacle, the Zaron and the Terrans wants fierce ever... Eververses, uh teaming up to vanquish the Void Spawn Cruel Devils, a fight that will surely be remembered throughout the ages. <laughs> I didn't notice any Xar ships in the fight. Ships? No. The real fight was on the ground. You didn't notice the massively en en energy shield covering that monstrosity. Uh, you didn't notice it f faltering and failing just at the perfect moment before you your final killing shot. I must have missed it. Oh, we certainly saw it. Yes, we absolutely did. Glorious. Whatever you say. Now, in exchange for your valiant effort, the, er, the Directorate, Compo Controller, have opted to give you our greatest treasure, a precursor arf artifact known as a Ramina or something like that coil. It did sustain some damage in the massive epic battle, but it miraculously managed to maintain, is, to maintain its coily shape. May it ever symbol symbolize the coily bonds between human and Zal'ar never to be uncoiled. Unless, of course, you anger us, in which case that coil is coming undone. But in the meantime, enjoy your gift, human. Cool, we got an achievement there. Deliver the crushing blow. Uh, we received a distress signal. Yep, we knew that was happening. And uh, where are they going? They're going back to fight our ship. Look at that. All right, so let's return home. Uh, let's definitely hit that. Uh, we're going to end up wrapping this video up right now for you guys, though. And then we'll continue on very shortly. As I always say at the end of every single one of my videos, flip that bacon. See you next time. And goodbye.